Hi students, this is Ramya Mohanan, lecturer in electrical, GWPC Trishur. Today I am going to discuss about auxiliary view. Before we go into the details of auxiliary view, let's understand the type of surfaces. Depending upon the orientation of surface, there are three types of surfaces. Parallel surface, inclined surface and oblique surface. The first one is parallel surface. Parallel surface has surface parallel to one of the principal planes of projection and perpendicular to the other two. Which are the principal planes of, planes of projection? Horizontal plane, vertical plane and profile plane. In the example shown, the direction of arrow shows the front side of the object. The object will have true shape and size on the plane to which it is parallel. In this example, the true shape and size of the surface will be shown in the top view. The next is inclined surface. Inclined surface is perpendicular to one of the per principal planes and inclined at an angle other than 90 degree to other two planes. The projection of the surface will be a line in the plane to which it is perpendicular. The projection will appear foreshortened in the other two planes. That is, true shape is not visible in any of the three views. The final one is oblique surface. It is positioned at an angle with respect to all the principal planes of projection. So here also the true shape and size will not be visible in any of the three views. Now you have understood that when a surface is inclined to any of the planes of projection, the view will not show the true shape and size of the surface. To overcome this difficulty, another imaginary plane called auxiliary plane is used. The auxiliary plane will be parallel to the inclined surface and the view obtained on it is called auxiliary view. Let us understand this with the help of a simple demonstration. The object shown in figure has an inclined surface A, B, C, D. First, I am going to draw the front view as seen in the direction of the arrow F. Next, the top view that is the view obtained by looking from above is drawn. Finally, the side view is also drawn. Now, look at the front view. The inclined surface A, B, C, D is reduced to a line A dash B dash in front view. That is, the true shape of the surface is not visible from the front view. Next, look at the top view. Here, the side DC as well as AB is reduced in length. That is, in top view also, we are not able to get the true shape or size of the object. The same is the case for side view. That is, from these three principal views, we are not able to get the true shape or size of the object. That is, an auxiliary view is needed. So, as a first step, we have to draw the principal orthographic views that we have already done. The next step is to identify the view with inclined surface. In this case, this front view has the inclined surface. Next, the, the next step is to draw projection lines perpendicular to this inclined surface. That is, projection lines are drawn at 90 degree from A dash and B dash. The next step is to identify which projection is to be projected onto the auxiliary plane. In this example, top view. So, a reference line is drawn on the top view. Let's name it by small rl. Next, we have to draw an auxiliary plane parallel to the inclined surface. This auxiliary plane is drawn at a convenient distance from the inclined surface. The next step is to mark the distances of various points from the top view. First, we have to identify the points. Here, D and C lies on the line RL. These points has to be projected onto this plane. Look at this point. This point represents the intersection of the projection line from D dash and RL. So, obviously, this will be D. Similarly, this will be C because it represents the intersection of the line RL with the projection line from C dash. 
Next, we have to draw DA. For that, we have to locate A. So, using a compass or a divider, take the distance DA and with D as center, mark A. Similarly, taking the distance CV on a compass or divider and with C as sender, mark B. Now that we have got all the points, the final step is to join these four points so that we will get the inclined surface. And while joining these three points, please ensure that you are using thick lines. Now you got the auxiliary view. Here we have projected top view onto the auxiliary plane. So this plane, so this is also known as auxiliary top view. Now that you have understood how to draw an auxiliary view, try to draw this auxiliary view of the object. Thank you for watching.